Hey YouTube, it's Mr. Styles here. I'm uh, making my first video. I'm going to show you how to jailbreak an iPhone 4 or an iPod Touch 4th Gen. You'll need a few things to begin the process. I will put all the website information in the description. First thing you're going to do is go to IHateSnow.com and download Snowbreeze 2.7. Just click here. Regular download so you don't have to pay for it. <coughs> it's going to make you wait about 15 seconds. Not too big of a deal. Once it's finished, it'll allow you to download the file. Just click download. It'll come up and you can either save the file or open it with WinRAR. That will be a good file, a program to have. So I'm not going to download it. I already have the program. The next thing you'll need will be to get your restore software. And it will come up and look like this here. Now your iPhone and your iPod touches are here in this bottom bar. Just look up whatever specific iDevice you have and find that firmware. I've already downloaded mine so I'm not going to get it either. So you open your snow breeze. Everything should be on your desktop. You'll get something that looks like this. You can check for updates but at this time Snowbreeze 2.7 is the newest one. Close updates, close credits. Here it tells you this is what it's for. Click the blue bar. If you don't want to use the website and get it beforehand, you can click this blue blue bar here and it will allow you to download your software as well. It'll take you to that same website. I already have mine, so I'm going to browse for it and mine's on my desktop so I'm gonna go ahead and load it up and it's going to find our ISPW and it verifies I have an iPhone 4 on Verizon now for the life of me I don't understand why the parentheses letters are not the same as the one I downloaded but it's not a big deal it still works. I have an iPhone 4 on Verizon and I've jailbroke it twice and I've used this for others. Just click the blue arrow and go next. Expert mode, blue arrow, general, blue arrow. It won't allow you to enable battery percentage because Apple already has. I recommend SSH and I like to move this up to about a thousand here. Blue arrow you could do custom sources or custom packages but I find it easier to download or add after the fact so blue arrow build ISPW blue arrow and I don't want to play Pac-Man so no thank you now it's going to extract our ISPW and create our custom snow breeze ISPW so that we can restore to the snow breeze jailbroken firmware. Now this is going to take about 10 minutes so I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera so we don't have to wait and I'll be right back. Alright we're back and as you can see it says that it is done building our custom ISPW and it dropped our custom firmware onto our desktop it's right here. It will say Snow Breeze. So we're going to click OK. And this nice little screen right here pops up. And it's showing us how to put our phone in DFU mode. Now mine's already jailbroken, so I'm not going to do this, but I'm going to run you through the steps anyway. You'll click the Start button. It's going to ask you to hold the Home button, or I mean the Power button, for five seconds. 
when the five seconds are up it's going to have you hold the power and the home button down at the same time for 10 and then when the 10 seconds are up it'll have you release the power button and just hold the home button down for 15 to 30 seconds now you'll hear your phone and your computer ding it'll make some dinging noises and if you've done it right it will pop up iREB and iREB will run through its little process it doesn't take very long and then it will pop up a box when it's finished and tell you that your phone is now in DFU mode and it is in a pawn state if you have a black screen at that point you can go ahead and restore your custom firmware that we just made if you didn't get your phone into DFU mode you are going to see this screen since mine's already done I'm gonna close this out once your phone is ready and in a pawn state iTunes will pop up and it will tell you you need to restore your phone at this point you're going to go here hold shift and click restore and it'll pop up a box like this and you can go to your desktop and mine's right here and you can double click on your custom software that says snow breeze and it will take you and it will restore your iPhone to the jailbroken state your phone will reboot once everything is finished and it will come up and it'll activate and everything will be fine and you scroll to the right one and you should see this symbol right here it says Cydia and if everything has gone well you'll be able to just click on that it'll open up it'll update itself and then close and then you'll open it again and your phone will now be jailbroken obviously mine's already finished because I've already jailbroken it but those are the steps you're going to take this was my first video if you liked what I've done please comment and let me know if there's anything I can do better let me know that as well I am going to continue to make videos so if you need any help please subscribe and thank you for watching